everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to define similarity and be able to apply the definition to determine if two polygons are similar. In this problem, we're asked to determine if the polygons are similar, and if they are, provide a scale factor. However, if they are not, explain why they are not. So we know that there are two criteria for determining if polygons are similar. First, the polygons have to have all corresponding angles congruent. The second part of similar polygons is that all of the corresponding sides are proportional, or they all have the same ratio when simplified. So starting with the first one, we have to check, are all the angles congruent? So for number one, we know that this mark here tells us that these two angles are congruent. So these angles are congruent. We also know that based on this congruent arc mark, we know that those angles are congruent. And that leaves us with these last two angles. Well, since all triangles add up to 180 degrees, if we know that two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then that last angle has to be the same as well. So number one, all corresponding angles congruent works. The second part, we needed to verify, are all of the corresponding sides proportional, or do they all simplify to the same ratio? So what we need to do is we need to match up our corresponding sides. To do this, we go ahead and look at matching up the smallest side to the smallest side, the largest side to the large side, and then the middle side to the middle side, since we only have three sides for the triangle. So let's start with our smallest side. In the top triangle, our smallest side is four. And in the bottom triangle, our smallest side length is 8. So we have a ratio of 4 over 8, which simplifies to 1 half. Then we can take a look at the next biggest side length. So the next biggest side length in the small triangle is 7. The next biggest side length in the medium triangle is 14. So we have 7 over 14, which again reduces to 1 half. So it's looking like these triangles may be similar. However, we cannot stop there. We need to check all of the corresponding sides to make sure that, that all corresponding sides are proportional. So we're going to take a look at the last um, sides, match them up. So we have 11 for the smaller triangle, and that corresponds to 20 in the larger triangle. Well, that we cannot simplify because there is no common factor. Therefore, the corresponding sides are not proportional. So the second thing we were looking for was all corresponding sides proportional. It did not meet this, so therefore, these triangles are not similar. So triangles not similar because corresponding sides are not proportional. Nice work.